Hello, this is a bite-sized presentation on the MIB Manager as provided with Netcall Omnibus version 7.4 and above. The MIB Manager allows MIB files to be imported and exported to a number of different formats including Netcall Knowledge Library Format Rules files and Standalone Rules files. The imported MIBs can also be used to send traps based on the MIBs to a target, host and port. This allows the exported rules files to be tested for trap reception and displayed in the Netcall Omnibus event list. By default the MIB Manager uses its installation directory to import and export files. The settings include a data directory an export directory, an import directory, an include directory and a log directory as well as search directories. MIB files should be provided with the hardware otherwise MIB files can be requested or downloaded from the hardware vendor's support site. If neither of these sources is available you can locate MIB databases via popular internet search engines. IBM does not provide MIB files for other vendors. To import a vendor's set of MIB files, extract the files to a vendor-specific directory. Ensure that the MIB manager is capable of locating the base and RFC MIB files. Then click the File Import option and select the vendor's MIB file directory. Ensure that the Traverse subdirectories box is ticked if applicable. Click Import. The tool will read all of the files including the vendor-specific MIB files. A pop-up window will indicate how many traps were found and if there were any errors. Close the pop-up window and review the imported MIBs, checking that they are correct. The MIBs can be exported in the following formats. The most useful of these are the Netcall Knowledge Library and Standalone Rules Files. Once exported, you can copy the rules files to an MTTrapD probe server and configure the probe to use the exported rules files. Using the MIB Manager with the imported MIBs, you can send traps to the MTTrapD probe and test the rules file works as expected.